lighter. Sharper. <laughs> I promise. The end is going to be so light, it's going to be fluffy like popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is one of my favorite pieces. It's called Butterflies. And I like it because it's always appropriate. <laughs> it's never a bad time to do butterflies. Sometimes I wonder what drives a caterpillar to decide to create this cocoon so that it can hide and then emerge from it this beautiful, beautiful butterfly. But then, at the same time, I feel compelled to ask God if change comes that easy, then why couldn't I have just been born a butterfly? See, sometimes I begin to wonder things like, why do abused women stay and continuously pray for a change that will make their homes a safe place to live with men who hate them because they breathe too loudly mm -hmm. or because they keep getting back up or because they exist and their mere existence is a constant reminder of what they lack as men. Mm -hmm. And what makes these women unpack and pack and unpack and pack and unpack and pack their bags over and over and over again? And what makes these women continue to love these men? And why do the rest of us walk around bragging about how strong we are for not being in their shoes, yet we mm -hmm. fail to recognize how strong you've got to be to wear those shoes in the first place? And mm -hmm. aren't they just running from the truth like the rest of us? Mm -hmm. So I ask God, why couldn't I have been born one of these women? Did you know that I would be too weak to survive or that I wouldn't be alive at this moment to even write this poem? And why do I feel jealous of them for loving someone enough to risk being hurt? See, sometimes, sometimes I wonder if homeless people are really talking to themselves or could they truly be talking to angels? Ooh. I wonder if they can see life in angles that my eyes can no longer even see. You see, they are completely free of those everyday things that bind me. So I hope that they don't mind me eavesdropping on parts of their conversations. I'm hoping to overhear the keys to life or maybe just writing down some of their gibberish so I can take it home, decode it, and discover what is the key to their survival. Because you see, upon our arrival to this earth, not one of us were told where that next blessing would come from or where that next trial may lay. So we now pray half-hearted to a God we no longer even know. But occasionally, occasionally we will say hello to him when we see him standing on the side of a street corner begging us for change. Mm. But instead of nickels and dimes, he'd much rather have a piece of our time so he can sit down with us and explain to us why it is we were not born butterflies or why we weren't born women who are daily bad or why it is that we even matter. You see, he came to bring us change. He wants us to be able to speak in tongue with homeless angels so that we can see life in other angles besides just 90 degrees because contrary to popular belief and geometry, that angle is not always right. See, sometimes, sometimes I wonder why do we fight life? And why do we fight love? And why do we fight falling in love with life? And I wonder, who would I be if I never ever learned to write? Would I just exist? Creatively constipated or find another way to express myself to a world that could care less about my first name? Would I have the same powerful views on the rights of black people if I were born white or if I were raped and impregnated with abortion, then it'd be all right. And if I had to watch my family starving to death, would that justify my stealing? And how does a lethal injection offer families emotional healing? And how do you tell somebody that you love them unless you're willing to expose yourself and how you're truly feeling or are there just some questions in life that we can only get the answers to by us going through the actual experiences? You see, contrary to appearances, this life is just one big stage where we all walk around modeling silk cocoons to impress a room full of people who could probably care less so. Why not walk out there stark naked but with wings? Exposing yourself to everything and everything to yourself with no fear of being judged for what you say or what you do. Why can't you learn to be content with being you and allow me to be me? And why can't we see that though our wings come in various shapes, sizes, colors, and patterns, we are all butterflies in the end. So in the end, it doesn't even matter anymore how beautiful you think your wings are. What matters is how strong have they become from use. Because what is the purpose in you being a butterfly if you spend your entire life inside a cocoon? Wow. <laughs>